nowadays you need to build your product just on sweat equity. Sure. And then that, that seed round is, okay, I need to experiment more with product market fit. And in my opinion, at Series A time, it's, look, this works and I need more fuel to put on the fire. It's not an experiment. It's like, I know how to scale it. Here are my unit metrics and I need more fuel to repeat this process. So in a, in a hardware world, that means, yeah, my, my margins are, are legitimate. I need to scale manufacturing. I need to go to more retailers. Uh, in an enterprise world, it's look at these one or two big deals that I pulled down. I need to build an enterprise sales team to go pull the next five to 10 deals down. Uh, and I think a lot of people uh, miss that in between raising their seed and their Series A, as you mentioned, that you know they still think it's experimentation time versus like, no, you really- It's go time. Need, yeah, you really need to yeah. prove it. You have six months to really prove it uh, and then show up and ask for more fuel to put on the fire. Which feels more like a Series B when you and I were coming up. The Series B, the Series A was the experimentation money. Yeah. Get to market. Now the Series and the Series B was grow. Now totally. Series A is grow. Yeah, it used to be. You're right. The Series A, you could still sell Promise. Yeah. And now you have to sell like this thing works, and I want to replicate it. Ryan, you had some thoughts. Yeah. So uh, as it pertains to funds, I think the Thank really you. interesting thing will be what happens to the public stock market. So uh, we've been in a uh, an age over the last pretty much eight years of of a really good stock market and a bull market. But last time around, at some point, the stock market is going to have a correction. It's inevitable. And I don't know when it will happen, but it will happen. It was supposed to happen last yeah, last quarter. I, I, keep, I keep being wrong about it. But when that does happen, we'll see the same thing that we saw in in 2008, 2009, where the LPs have a denominator issue because all of a sudden their private investments, private equity, venture capital, become a greater percentage of their overall portfolio. And that point, no matter how good your IRRs are, they're trying to uh, they're trying to lower their exposure to venture. And that and that when that happens, that's going to affect entrepreneurs as well. Um, so I think that will be the real telltale sign on um, on the fun fun side of things. Let's talk a little bit, Ryan, about um, syndicates. And special purpose vehicles, obviously, at Seed Invest, you're doing a lot of those. I've done 55 syndicates to date. I think it's more than any other person. Yeah. I think Gil's done more money. So he's done about 30 deals and probably for more money than my 55. I'm earlier stage, he's later. Yeah. Um, but I do see a little bit of burnout maybe um, in angel investing. Too many investors and I think there's a little digestion problem. People have gorged a bit and they're saying like, let me, let me figure out what I'm going to do with these 50 investments, these 20 investments, 10 investments um, before I put another 10 in and have 10 more founders calling me because they're running out of capital. Yeah. Are you seeing that as well at Seed Invest? or do you just see more angels coming in, more people wanting to angel invest, more people wanting to join this sort of crowdfunding revolution? Well, I think as it pertains to individual angel investors, whether they're investing through Seed Invest or they're investing through you know, your syndicate or another, um, there's always going to be, I think, exhaustion and, uh, and some churn for individual angels because I think a lot of people underestimate that it really does take five to seven years to actually see... Uh, or seven to ten. Yeah, or maybe seven to ten to actually uh, start to see your money back. So you're gonna you're going to get some exhaustion, um, and a lot of people put in too much money in the beginning instead of building a diversified portfolio. So I think that's natural. The the key is, you know, we have, in terms of accredited investors, we have probably you know two to five percent of people actually that are accredited that are investing in alternative assets, private companies, and then um, as you look at the whole country, it's a, a couple percent that are even accredited. So it's all about just getting more people in this country to put a small percentage of their overall portfolio into venture capital. We haven't even scratched the surface there. Um, I think if you're focusing on the same people, there's always going to be someone who already put in 5 to 10% of their overall portfolio that has already made that commitment. So there's always going to be churn. Let me take a moment to thank at Squarespace for, first of all, making amazing software. I was just working on uh, one of the new projects I'm working on. You may have heard of <coughs> television show. Um, and we had to make a website, and I, boom, I just went on to Google Domains, and I was buying a domain over at Google Domains, and boom, you could just, when you're setting up your Gmail, fire up and launch Squarespace. I guess they're partners now. And I was able to fire up a gorgeous website in literally minutes, and it looked like we spent $25,000 making it. It looks professional. It's intuitive and easy to use. No coding is required. And they use state-of-the-art tech. It's super secure. It's super stable, and it's trusted by millions some of the most respected brands in the world. We, in fact, use it for all of our events and conferences. And you can start your free trial today. No credit card is required. 
and you'll get a free domain name if you sign up for a year. I'm an idiot. I did it wrong. I signed up at the wrong domain place. I didn't know that I would get a free domain. I got to go back and uh, do that next time. If you decide to sign up for Squarespace, if you do decide that you're going to sign up for Squarespace, which I'm sure you will, just use the promo code TWIST and you'll get 10% off your first purchase. It is an amazing, amazing product. It's super easy to use and they keep adding features to it, which is one of the great things about the software as a service movement. They keep getting more people loyal to the product. They keep uh, being able to hire more product managers, developers, and researchers to figure out what to make next. And boom, they make amazing product and they keep the price the same. So things are getting better and better over there at Squarespace. I love the product. Go ahead and follow at Squarespace. Squarespace.